Hey everyone, it's Vickerman, and we're here searching for the seven cities of El Dorado. I guess El Dorado may be one of the cities or something like that. All right, we cored Lancashire. That's great. That's a very, it's a pretty high value province. Yeah, and that one's pretty good too. Six. Spirited away. Could be the guard's fault, for they slept on their watch. Or was it the native who we hired to lead us through the inhospitable Zaraza who is to blame? Maybe it was the conquistador who slept so soundly through it all they did not even wake up to scream and yell as the native silently made off with them into the deep forests. Either way, our conquistador disappeared in the night. We need to go look for them. Wait, is he gone? From a distance, our conquistadors thought them to be mere hills standing among otherwise empty plains in Uyapari. But as we drew nearer, an enterprising fellow in the company noticed how regular they were, and he soon pointed out to his companion that they must be the remnants of great pyramids of an ancient people. Pari gets abandoned mounds until 2 September. You get a meager amount of gold. Or 50 admin points. I could use the admin points, but at the same time, gold is kind of scarce for me at the moment. Maybe we'll try this and see. I guess nothing happened. All right, England is now an accepted culture, which is going to help everything out as well. Increase autonomy by 25 gives you a plus 10 unrest. Goes down by 0.10 per month. It is not too bad, I suppose. Development of veneering. Ebony and other tropical woods selected for their beauty rather than strength. Creation of beautiful and original cabinets. Well, okay. Uh, France requesting my aid against... Lenape, Iroquois, Ojibwe, Pahatan, Micmac. It's the war that I've started. Who we'll join as a regular ally? Uh, that's fine. Not sure why you requested my aid. Catholic zealots. We don't have any Catholics in the the realm here. Now uh, Portugal has surrounded our little colony there. Let's see where the dividing line for the colonial regions is. Yeah, it looks like there's no way we could 
make a nation here unless we actually conquered things from Portugal. Which would be kind of not a great move, really. Hot chocolate. Use of cocoa to create a hot beverage is custom inherited from the American natives. All the new drink caught on quickly. Taking some time before it reached a larger acceptance. With that out of the way, however, the demand for chocolate now is steadily increasing. Growing popularity of tobacco. Okay, so. Income is increasing, so. Ah, we can get more troops, which is a good idea. Let's make artillery. We can do war taxes, right? Should help things out a bit. When are you done with that? 1593. 1593 will be able to do that as well. So is this whole area here? Yeah. All of that is Colonial Columbia. National tax modifier plus 50% or 29 ducats. So plus 50% is a uh, four and a half more for 12 months is like 48. It's definitely better to do that. Another cannon and we probably do want cavalry as our other troop. Ugh, loan. It's a little too long for these colonies to stabilize, really. Loan coming due in August. Ch 
Our truce expires with England in 1603. It's another 10 years. Hopefully we'll be pretty well set to put an end to their reign. France, you are getting beaten. All right. Zero overextension. That's fantastic. And we're at the army force limit. Let's build some light ships. And then we'll need to start replacing the heavy ships, which is going to be quite a thing. Conquer some of these folks. All right, admin tech. All right, we don't have any admin points right now, but we've got quite a lot of idea cost modifiers that make it a little bit cheaper, so that'll be great. We definitely want to do get to core creation costs before we go to war with England again it's going to be real nice but you know having an extra settler would be nice too I, I think we'll wait until we have enough admin points to make a difference and we'll decide then Yeah, the unfortunate thing is France is going to put... Well, I guess we're not really getting any war exhaustion because nobody's actually fighting in that war for us. Which means we're getting free war taxes, essentially. Now, what's our relation with France doing these days? Was that this one? Yes. Let's continue to expand up there. So I think how this works for conquering the natives here well, let's just pay I don't want a long-term production penalty in one of my core provinces I think you have to actually core 
the provinces before they go over to your colonial nation, if I remember correctly. Oh, we can afford military tech, but it's ahead of time. Give us really good bonuses, but that's really good. Uh, we're just about to get to diplomatic point. But it's ahead of time, so... That gives us more trade efficiency. Which would be very good. Uh, we could build a building, but we still need more ships. Let's build a heavy. We're probably falling a bit behind. Okay, so Spain, Ottomans, France, and Portugal are ahead of us. Which is not too bad, really. I actually want this to form a colonial nation as soon as possible, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, man. Conquistador is dead. Let's get a new one. He's not too bad, really. Now we can continue. Got an advisor slot, but that's for Diplo Tech, which we're doing okay in at the moment. I don't think we have a national focus right now. Let's focus on admin. Ooh, diplomatic reputation. Could be helpful for integrating Northumberland. Which maybe we ought to do that. And stop relation improving. Be great to get Utrecht there. I think they're in the same trade node. Yeah, they've got a lot, they've got really high value trade provinces. Of course, if we took London, that would be excellent as well. Not sure what Utrecht's alliance situation looks like. Okay, they're allied with Austria. Oh, they're allied with France, too. That would break my French alliance. Well, I guess we won't do that, then. Oh, France's defender of the French or the Catholic faith. Is France our only ally now? That could be a problem for us. Yeah, we really need another alliance. I think Sweden would have been 
it, but... I mean, there's Denmark. I mean, with Spain? Okay, so we could improve relations and maybe we might be able to get to where we could get an alliance. Uh, except for our relation with Portugal. Alright, more light ships, please. Poland. I mean, they're a bit far off, but it may help us with... They may help, they may help us with Austria. Alright, so Portugal is not rival. I'm changing my rival. I'm going to see if we can recover relation with them. Because... I mean, they're allied with France. It makes sense for them to be our, our friend. Uh, yes. Okay. Enemy of enemy. Okay. Yeah, they're a natural ally, really. Because they're allied with France. They hate England. Basically, Spain is, by extension, becoming a friend of ours now. So now they are rivaled to France. Which is a little annoying, but... Okay, I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to overcome those differences. So I want you to improve relations with Portugal instead, because I think that we can become good friends. Okay, we gotta we gotta do something here. We gotta expand before all these places are taken. Doing a pretty good job of exploring South America here. We are ninth overall in score, which is pretty good, considering where we came from.
I'll lose the stability, I suppose. Catholic Zealots. Where, where are these guys coming from? Go ahead and pick that up. Change us to the new cannon. Yeah, right now they're a little embarrassed to be our allies because of our lack of military strength. But that'll change, I suppose. Yeah, when do you expect this to happen? 1598? That's not too bad, really. Oh, yes, we were going to. The Netherlands declare independence. Oh, man. I hope they're successful. More because, not because uh, I necessarily want to be friends with the Netherlands, but if we break up the power that they hold, then... then it's a little easier to go to war with them when if we ever want to take some of this land for the trade power. Uh, okay, looks like they are Catholic, which is interesting. thought they may change. Okay, so what do we want to do? Getting quantity may be useful too. Gives you a plus 50% land force modifier, which means we'd get like 11 more land force limit, which is pretty significant. Let's do an infantryman, I guess. but maybe better mercenaries make that better.
Colonists and merchants. Better. What is recruitment here? By playing the principles of reasons. I guess the amount of your force limit that you get per turn. I think we'll go with admin. Although it, I'm not sure if it's the greatest idea or not, but Okay, who who are you allied with? I think you're allied with that those one guys that are right next to you. and stop that for me. So they are now allied with France and Spain. That kind of alliance should be able to free them there. That would be really cool if we could get the Netherlands free. So it looks like we can't join that war. But that's okay. Oh, our vassal is doing stuff for us. That's nice. They're actually fairly strong. Well, time has gotten away with me. We're going to have to stop here. But some interesting developments this episode. We are close to getting a colonial nation up here, which will be great. And... Ooh, Spain is getting into Mexico there. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, we'll see how the Netherlands do. Looks like they're doing pretty well with France on their side. Well, things will be good. But uh, we'll see you next time.